When I was a small boy, I dreamed. You're old. I dreamed that one day I would play at the coach house in Sandbury. I know that sounds silly now since I've played here over a hundred times, but I used to see those other groups, those British invasion groups. The zombies and the who and the kinks and Jerry and the pacemakers and Fred and the dreamers. And I'd say, hey fellas, guess where I'm going to play one of those? The coach house. But chance to dream, you foolish little hermit. <laughs> They've never played here. <laughs> so you see, my dreams, hopefully they're all coming true. And you were all, all of you were in that dream. I was 13 or 14 years old. And none of you had your dads with you like tonight. <laughs> But still, uh, look at this Billy Sullivan man. He's just a relic from the 17th century. Squashed into this suit. We squashed him upstairs. We said, get it, you can do it, Billy. And he's in it. And then he said, quick, we've still got an hour. Let's go and get our hair fixed. <laughs> oh, you just pointed at his hair, that's rude. <laughs> you may hurt his feelings. <laughs> so Billy and I, we went all the way to San Clemente. <laughs> we pulled in there, there was like everything there. there was, maybe it wasn't there in San Clemente, it was like this, we pulled off the the freeway, and there was like this shopping mall with, you know, Panera Bread, and, <laughs> you know, all the usual. And we saw this place, we went in there, and we, we said, oh look, can we get the two for one special? <laughs> and the woman said, yeah. Come on, sit down, bring Fifi in and sit him down here. <laughs> she thought his name was Fifi. <laughs> she thought I was Nick Nolte, but we still stayed. <laughs> And you know, after a few minutes, she was drying Billy, aka Fifi's head. And it wasn't me moving right now. Blue's got blue on his head. So, and she's, I looked down and I said, hey Billy, her name on the patch, it's Groomer. <laughs> German or something. <laughs> That's when we realised, we looked up and we saw the sign there. Welcome to Petco. <laughs> As I was, I got the bill of course because I felt sorry for what had happened to Billy. And, and she gave me the bill and I signed it and she said, Wait a second, Mr. Nolte. <laughs> What's this no one business here? <laughs> it's my name. Come on, no one's called no one. I am. <laughs> Peter M O O N E, no one. Thank you very much. <laughs> and she let us leave. We left her a whopping tip. Yeah. Tea biscuit in the whole thing. <laughs> Are you okay up there in the posh suits? Yeah. Yeah. All the way around, look at them. they're looking down on you like, you know, like you were not, none of you were invited to the coronation. <laughs> I've got an invite today. I'm happy I'm working. Because you know, one minute, you're in with the in crowd. 
And the next clip that royal family, off with their heads. He's the one who sang that song about my great, 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 great grandfather. Henry. Too good to do at the beginning of the show. <laughs> Save all the good ones for the end, right now. We're going to stick some rubbish by you, hopefully, it slides past and you go, oh, he's very funny for an old geezer. <laughs> but really, what happened is we've got a set list here, and I wrote down all the things that I need to know, like all the local fun spots like Mission Viejo and <laughs> Corona. <laughs> And we also wrote down Riverside. Because <laughs> apparently the box here said a lot of the people who come here yeah. are from Riverside. Yeah. There's one, there's one. Are you from Riverside? Uh, did you jog here or you just walk slowly, casually along the street? Yeah, I love Riverside. There's a river there, you know that? <laughs> very See, this is very confusing because I'm just. I'm just, I'm just the lead singer, so I don't know anything about plumbing or electricity or anything, but there's a set list here. And my dad, I told you, my dad is Mick Jagger, and he told me years ago, we were sitting in, in the living room, and my auntie Celia was over there in the rocking chair, and he said, Peter, ask Keith, do you talk to Keith about this? Because whatever happens, when you're on stage, when you bend down to pick something up, don't don't make any noises. <laughs> I, did, I did do good, didn't I? <laughs> there you go. So, this is very confusing. Because this is not my set list and it's here on the stage. And I know it's not mine because mine is a three size three font. I'll show it to you. My font, I mean. <laughs> Look at that. We haven't done any of these songs yet. But see, what we try to do is, I'm just explaining the reason, raison d'etre. The reason that we come here is because this is the most fun audience. Yeah. And, and, and I have to tell you, usually, usually when we play here, who shows up? A bunch of old people. <laughs> Tonight, look around you. These people, these people are younger than me. Which is everybody. Let's do a Johnny Cash song. Get me out of this phone.